Hello guys and welcome back on our Tool Frame UK channel. My name is Demetrius and if you haven't checked the latest video that we've done about Bitcoin, I suggest you do. The link will be down below. As you can see from the title today, we're going to talk about Ethereum. Ethereum after Bitcoin is the second most valuable coin that you can use in trading. Now if you like this video, I suggest you smash the like button, please subscribe to our channel and now let's get on with the video. What it really is Ethereum. Ethereum is a digital platform that allows people to build a range of decentralized applications. These applications can include security programs, voting systems and methods of payment. Like Bitcoin, Ethereum operates outside the mandate of central authorities. The idea behind Ethereum was created by Vitalik Buterin, programmer born in Russia and raised in Canada. Buterin drew inspiration from Bitcoin to develop his own cryptocurrency. It didn't take too long for Ethereum to become very popular and to make its creator a millionaire. As mentioned, Buterin took inspiration from Bitcoin and the similarities between Ethereum and Bitcoin are indeed there. Both Ethereum and Bitcoin are cryptocurrencies that work thanks to a worldwide computer network with miners being rewarded through the release of daily tokens. He launched his first version of the platform in 2015 with the help of a several CEO founders. Since then it has grown rapidly in popularity and has helped prompt an increase of a new rival to Bitcoin. So now, as we already explained what Ethereum is, we're going to jump to how it works. Ethereum works as an open software platform functioning on blockchain technology. This blockchain is hosted on many computers around the world, making it decentralized. Each computer has a copy of the blockchain and there has to be widespread agreement before any changes can be implemented to the network. The Ethereum blockchain is similar to Bitcoin's in that it is transactions history. However, the Ethereum network also allows developers to build and deploy decentralized applications such as dApps. These are also stored on the blockchain along with records of transactions. Now that I spoke to you of what Ethereum is and how it works, I'm going to actually explain to you what the word dApps is. Dapps are open source software that use the blockchain technology unlike traditional apps. They don't need a midman to function. As they are still a relatively new concept, it is difficult to pinpoint an exact definition of them. However, Noticeable common features include the fact that they are open source, governed by autonomy and decentralized. Now that you get an idea what Ethereum kind of is and how it works, now I'm going to tell you why Ethereum is so different than the others. Ethereum itself is essentially not a cryptocurrency. The world Ethereum refers to the digital platform. The actual tokens used for payment on the network are called Ether. In other words, Ether is a crypto fuel for the Ethereum network. When it comes to trading, the prices you see will refer to Ether. Nonetheless, you will commonly see the cryptocurrency referred to as Ethereum. However, Ethereum also acts as a network for the so-called smart contract, a future that differentiates Ethereum from other cryptocurrencies. In a sense, Ethereum is a real network that can be used for many different types of transactions. Now that we explain what makes Ethereum different, we're going to jump to the last bullet point. How does a price affect the Ethereum? Ethereum's price is affected by different factors to those which affected traditionally currencies. It is less exposed to economic and political influences, but it is affected by other factors such as availability, regulation, media, and the last one is technological advances. Availability is unlike Bitcoin, there is no limit to the supply. However, units of Ether are still added and lost over time causing its availability to fluctuate. 
regulation. Ethereum is currently unregulated by both government and central banks. If it starts to change over the next few years, it could be have an impact on Ethereum's value. Media. Negative media converge particularly around security and longevity can have an impact on price. Now let's go to technology advances. The future of blockchain technology is unknown. However, its integration into areas like payment systems and crowdfunding platforms could raise its profile. Thank you so much for watching our video guys today. If you like this video and you find it useful with the information that we provided you, please smash the like button below. Please subscribe on our channel. See you later.